can't believe she's making me do this. I'm an adult. I shouldn't have to listen to some stuck-up. Mm. Can I even do this? I don't want to. Oh, you're awake. Um, hi. No, please don't freak out. I know how this looks, but I don't mean any harm. What well, am I? I'm a succubus. But I'm not here to do anything weird, I promise. That's a long story. To put it simply, I'm here because my mother won't let me come back to hell unless I feed on some energy. It's ridiculous. I'm 156, but she's treating me like I'm 45. What? Ew. I wasn't going to do that to you. There's a lot of ways succubi and incubi can take energy. Any powerful emotion will be sufficient. It just so happens that lust is what has humans making stupid decisions. My parents are also very traditional. If you don't torment foolish mortals, you're seen as a weakling. I don't want to do that, though. I don't care if it makes me weak. Why don't I? It just grosses me out. Plus, I'm not a huge fan of manipulating people into doing stuff. It feels wrong. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really shouldn't involve you in my problems. You're okay with it? Are you sure? You're a complete stranger, and I don't want to be a bother. Well, more of a bother than I've already been. Thank you. None of my family ever cared to listen. I haven't proven myself, or whatever. Wow, how rude of me. I've been ranting about my problems, and you don't even know my name. I'm Belilla Thalou. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Belle. What about you? It's nice to meet you. I wish it could have been through a different situation, though. I'm assuming this is the first time you've talked to any demon, so I'm sure you have questions. I'll go ahead and explain things the best I can. As I said, succubi and incubi can absorb any kind of strong emotion as energy. That's how we feed. It's a painless process. Well, unless the demon is absorbing agony, but those types are very rare. It's honestly a waste of good energy. By being nice to a human, you'll have a repeat customer in a sense. Oh, it happens quite often. My kind are all around you. You just don't know it. The process of absorbing emotional energy also wipes the human's memory. They don't forget a whole lot, but it's just enough not to remember the event. We look just like this. Big horns, long spiky tail, claws, red skin. Although it's not exactly normal for a demon to walk around in broad daylight looking like this, it happens sometimes at cosplay conventions and such. But it's rare. Most of the time we disguise ourselves. Our bodies can change form very easily. We could really look like anyone or anything. That's another reason why most of us feed off lust. We can bring certain uh, fantasies to life that wouldn't otherwise be possible. But as I said, I'm not like that. Normally, I just help out strangers, give them a hug, talk to them, do them a favor, and I feed off of that. I'm perfectly content with it, but my family is very against it, and they won't let me go back home until I seduce someone. You want me to take your energy? If you're suggesting what I think you... Oh, you had something else in mind. What is it? You're right. I did wake you up and should probably help you fall back asleep. But I don't see how that will help me. Yeah, I can feed off any emotion. Why would relaxation be any... Oh, I see what you're getting at. Yeah, I can do that for you. And I'll let my mom think I seduce my first human. Stupid imp won't know the difference. Just so you know, you won't remember this experience. I'm not even sure if you'll remember me at all. You'd really want me to come visit again? A weird girl who showed up by your bed unannounced and cried about her parents all night? Wow. I'm touched. Thank you. All right. It's time for a good old-fashioned pampering. Before we start, do you need anything? Food? Water? Bathroom break? I can get that water for you. Just wait here. Here you go. Drink up. Now scoot over. Let me lay next to you. Hi. <laughs> you look nervous. Don't be. I'll make sure you're taken care of. And I lean against me. Whatever feels comfortable. Doesn't matter. There we go. Comfy? Now I'm just going to start by lightly scratching your head. How does that feel? Good. As long as you like it, I'm happy. Close your eyes. You can't fall asleep with your eyes open. There you go. 
Now breathe with me. Copy my breathing and I guarantee you'll feel more at ease. One more. Excellent. Keep breathing like that for me. Next, I'll wrap my arms around you. Let me know if I need to squeeze tighter or loosen my grip. Now, it's time for my specialty. How about some positive affirmations? Great. You deserve to know how cherished you are. I really do appreciate what you've done for me tonight. You have such a kind heart. Shh. No words. Just listen. You deserve to be loved and cared for. I truly mean that. A kind soul like you should receive all the praise in the world. I'm here to do that. But there are other people out there that also care about you. So many lives have been positively impacted by you simply being yourself. I know it's not easy all the time. I wish it was. You deserve an easy ride through life. But unfortunately, the world isn't always fair. I can't fix your problems, but I can be here. Right now, you have my full attention. You are worthy. Your life has value just by you being yourself. I'm proud of you for everything that you've done. I know we just met, but I can tell that you have done amazing things, even if you don't think so. I care about your well-being, and as long as I'm here, I'll take care of you, because you deserve it. Oh, your smile is really cute. Don't try to hide it. It makes you all the more amazing. Was that a yawn? Are you finally getting sleepy? Well, how about a song while you drift off? 